hi, how are you? Another week, another scum, I guess. That's, <laughs> no one says that. I'm on my way to work, so I'm a little, I'm feeling a little frantic. I did miss a clip, god damn it, for Sunday. Here we go. I love seeing her pray. <laughs> I've never said that about anyone ever. This is why I'm never on group chats. <laughs> Sits here praying that it's Yusuf. Are you fucking kidding me? This is also why I don't have a brother. Is it Yusuf? Fuck for that, but I'm pretty bus. Do I pretty bus still? Yeah, but that's for you, Gud. Okay. Is that a thing? That's for you, Gud. I'm the best. Yeah, Gud. I fucking hat. Yeah, I'm just slapping up. Is that how it is? Then that's no different from society. Then hopefully we'll see another post today, Monday. Um, so I'll be sorry. That was my phone. God damn it. Yeah, done. First clip. Really happy. I feel it coming. I feel it coming. Hey, it's Hannah. I promised I would stop doing that. It is still Monday where I am, but I'm gonna include this into Tuesday clip because I'm a fucking cheater. Today we got a few updates, just a, a couple of texts uh, between Sana and the girls and Sana and Isaac. I have a little list, you guys. Like, I'm so fucking professional. That was my grocery list. Hold on. Isaac and Sana text. Excited about it. I really, really want to see them hang out again. I don't know. It's a pretty seamless friendship. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, and then the group chat text. I enjoy that thoroughly <laughs> what a fucking badass magnus has no business being in that that girl that um what am i what the fuck this itches am i dying uh i wait the clip for later and uh do you see this bed i'm gonna fucking lie in that bed until i become one with it my eyes are tearing up so there still isn't a clip when I woke up, and since I had a little bit of time today, I thought that I would uh, do a deep dive into my comments and fucking- I don't know why I keep doing this, as if I'm going on a little adventure. Lamau. Be careful with the Mikael thing, because the actor is like da 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 16 deja vu kabush. I had to find out the hard way too. Katie, you went to prison? Here's the thing, the consequence is a month. I can take a month of prison, like for that beauty. A month and a day, that's too much. We post more season two reactions and also the last two drunk Season 3 ones. I already answered this in the comments, but also in case anyone else is wondering and you don't want to go through my comment section. Um, but you should. It's lovely down there. The season 2 reactions are going to be postponed for reasons such as season 4 and season 3. In season 3 drunk reactions, yes. I just need to like bring myself to edit the last two episodes. Like, that's it. Thank you also to everybody who like sent me links to Spotify and this thing called TuneFind. I don't know what that is. That has all of the scum music used for this season. So we're gonna go to Tumblr. I got a bunch of questions from this lovely, lovely person. So, like, what do you think of the Balloon Squad? Like, I don't really have a strong opinion of the Balloon Squad. Like, the only person that's showed some actual dimension to their character is Yusuf so far, which I understand. I mean, we're only like an episode and a half in, or an episode and like a quarter in. I don't like Elias. <laughs> I think he's a dick. Yeah, so no real strong feelings about the Balloon Squad apart from the fact that they are pretty. Okay, here's what I think the season is gonna be about. I think it's gonna be about religion, but it's not gonna be about religion in general. I think it's gonna be about religion specified to this one individual who happens to be a teen and female living in Norway and all of the circumstances blah blah blah. Now how does that fit into the whole theme of scum which is like the shame of every single lead. One of the things that I've taken note in season four so far with the clips that have been released is the fact that she always keeps getting interrupted. Not just with prayer because that's happened and it's clear um, the, tw the two times that she's tried to pray she was interrupted one by the couple that I thought was Magnus, and then second by Yusuf, who was just having sex with the air, <laughs> which by definition is greater than sex itself. But she also gets interrupted every time that she's living her life outside of her mosque. If you think about it, the very first clip that we see is of Sana riding the bus and she's leisurely admiring these two guys outside and then suddenly the call of prayer comes in and then the other time was when she was having this almost conversation with Yusef and then the call of prayer comes on again it's her mother and it you know she missed prayer time again so I think what Sana's shame is 
is that there's a separation between her faith and everything in her life that lies outside of that where there shouldn't be. The only way that I can see this ending this season is in one of two ways. I'm not trying to dictate everyone else's theory and say that this is how it's going to go. In my opinion of it is that this is what's going to happen. It's either going to be her um, finally striking a good balance between her r religious life and her life life or she chooses. She chooses which one she can live fully because she can't live both to its full potential. That's all of the questions that I can answer for now. And here's hoping for a clip later that we can all enjoy. Just pretend that I'm fisting an elephant. Like, the clip is still here, thank God. She zeroed in on him. Wick. She could be like, no, I don't know him that well. That's what I would do. No. Yeah. Do we like on Muslim skit? That's interesting. The story Quran. That's very black and white. Another reason. Oh my god. What happened? Pretty awesome clip. Am I gonna repeat it over and over again? <laughs> you bet your fucking ass I'm gonna. Yes, you. I wish them all the money and all the roost buses in the world. Today I woke up to a clip. However, there's still no translations out. I don't know if any of you guys do this, so I decided to like look for the transcript because there's a, a translation available, but it's just a transcript. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm an, I, I don't know, like I can't wait. I saw a comment on my uh, last video. Uh, it was basically a question of like, how am I going to be posting these videos? The person who commented and everyone else was wondering, I am posting these weekly. This is basically just like me documenting how I view scum and how I lose my mind over it. Also, if you guys are wondering like where I uh, look for translations, where I see clips, I go on Tumblr for that. If you guys go in Scum English on Tumblr, you'll be able to find clips that are translated as well. So if you guys want to follow Scum English on Tumblr, feel free to do so. See you guys later. All of my lipstick rubbed off because I got into it with some corn earlier. And you know, like, your girl got into it. Speaking of getting into it, saw the clip. Julie and him, I hope that you're prepared to go to prison for murder because you killed me. But don't get me wrong, I'm about to say something. This is a totally unpopular opinion. How come all they do is make out? Like, <laughs> got a lot of backstory to get through. Like, I love all of this making out and shit, but can they maybe in between kisses explain what the fuck happened in Baka? In the clip, we saw that Isaac, you know, he clocked Mikael on Sana's laptop. <laughs> also, I've now been able to reflect on the clip. Turns out, Evan has quit school. Doesn't that kind of put some sort of tension on their relationship? Like, I don't even know how to explain this. So he's not even looking for a job? Am I being insensitive? I don't even know. Since it's only been like a few weeks that they've been living together and they've only been together for like five months-ish. You know, it kind of still feels like they're playing house. I mean, yeah, for Evan, it's a huge step to, to make. Isaac, this 17 year old boy, he has a lot more on his plate than he realizes. Or maybe I'm underestimating him, I'm not sure. But the way that I see it right now, he's 17 years old and he's taking on sole responsibility for his boyfriend. Evan isn't even trying to find a job. He should really try to find a job. <laughs> like, Evan, you're cute and all, waiting at home, like the little housewife that you are, you're fine. But you gotta get some income in, baby. Like, and listen, I'm not gonna sit here and fucking talk about how you should stay in school and that your education is precious because you all already know that. So I get where Evan's coming from when he says that. It's true, not all people need school. But you need an education one way or another. And another way to get an education, believe it or not, is through a job. That said, I really love this clip. It had my O2Ps in it. Hey, it's not Hannah. I am waiting for my dinner to come out of the oven, so I'm basically just chilling right now. Did get um, one group text group chat uh where the baka boys youtube channel was finally introduced like kind of more formally as opposed to just like having it exist in the ether not that it ever was like i'm pretty sure everyone was aware of the fact that there was a youtube channel even without the site introducing it however i am late to the party <laughs> upon hearing that you're probably thinking why wouldn't you watch the videos you fuck first of all offensive. Second of all, I am an idiot. I initially thought that it was just um, a YouTube channel by the actors. I had no idea that it was scum related and that it was an actual separate account, a new 
social media added for the Baca Boys, but now that I know that, guess what? I got a lot of binge watch. So he, who's the real loser? I saw the latest video that they uploaded wherein they played SMS Roulette. So Evan's name is brought up. Uh, Yusef's reaction to hearing Evan's name. Yeah. I'm sorry, a stranger just walked into my house. Uh, uh oh. Um, part of me thinks that Evan did say something offensive. I think one of the things that I'm gonna miss the most about this show is just the fandom. Like the fucking time that every single person in this fandom takes in order to analyze and investigate and fucking put two and two together just so they can make a prediction of what's about to happen. And a lot of times they're right. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention something. I just remembered this. This is pivotal. This is fucking essential. Sorry if I scared you and your dog. In the group chat that we got today, Eva posted the video, right, of the SMS roulette. In the fucking video, they mentioned Evan. These girls watched the video. Didn't they get that far into it? Uh, so yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Uh, let's wrap up this week. Oh, wow. I saw that there was a clip today. I almost did. I almost watched it, but I opted not to, um, out of my loyalty for you guys. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> the internet connection where I was earlier was just shit. Okay, got the clip. Are they gonna see the bus? They can't see the bus. Because we have money. Men vi har ingen cyklar så den ser helt jävligt inne. Ja, Oh, I um I learned through Tumblr and stuff that this girl, Mari, is actually the person who um takes care of all of the social media stuff that happens behind the scenes and scum. Like you all probably already knew that. I didn't. Idiot. So. Down and it get ran. Left them get dipped from the whole ends. If killer car shots, no questions. My dream is to be able to have my own slow-mo walk moment and not uh, get mental hospitalized for it. So there's a sick fat name. Pepsi Max singing. Who came up with that? Nissan? Whatever website you're searching these names from. Shut it down. Fordi vi har jo budget på 310. Vi betaler 320. That's 20 more thousand that you don't have. So what just happened? Once again, if you made it up to this part of the video, thank you so much for watching. This has been Noah, and if you want to follow me on all of my other social media, I have Tumblr, I have Instagram, and I also have Snapchat, but like I said, there's nothing on there for you. I don't know why I still keep mentioning it. And I'll see you guys again the same time next week. Bye! I feel it coming. I feel it.